Hi, Three Most Gentlemen, welcome back. Highest in the room, baby. Highest in the room. I'm the highest Three Most in the room. Straight up. What's up? Welcome back. Hope you guys are having an amazing day so far. Let me tell you this. Thumos, in order for you to have that high Thumos, well, you need a mission. You need something to pour it into. Okay, you got to go in. So I'm asking you guys, let's go in. Everything may be shutting down. I don't care. People wear a mask. I don't care. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't do everything. Stay inside. Okay, I don't care. Let's make this shit happen. We're grown men. This is our one life. We got to live it. So, with that being said, stay tuned because I'm going to give you a mission. But let's just get into it. We got to be approaching these girls, homeboy. All right. We got to be approaching these females that are out in this world. These beautiful females. Let me tell you this. No one's approaching them. No one is going up to them saying, hi. How you doing? What's going on? Yeah, nice to meet you. This is my name. What's your name? What's going on? How you doing? Bing, 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 blah, blah, blah. Hey, let's hang out sometime. Let's hang out sometime. What's your number? Give me that number. All right, great. Sounds good. Fantastic. Yep. All right. Bye. Maybe call her in a day or two. Why not? Call her in a day or two. Okay. Hey, ring, ding, ding. Hello, hello. Hey, it's Elijah. Remember, I met you the other day at the library. Okay. How is how is your books? How are your books? <laughs> she hangs up. <laughs> Let's do that again. Uh, ring, ding, ding. Yo, yo, okay. Oh, hey, who is this? Oh, it's a, hey, what's going on? It's Elijah. We met the other day at the library. Okay, that's not going to work, okay? Because I'm fucking what? I'm, I'm monotone. Hey, what's going on? That's not going to work either. Because no one answers the phone. I'm like, hey, what's going on? Okay, it's going to be like, ring, ding, ding. Hello? Hey, what's going on, Mary? This is Elijah. Good to, uh, that's not going to work either. Okay. So, how's it going to go down? What's well, going to go down like this? You're going to call. And you're going to, you're going to grab your nuts. As you're making the call, your hand's going to be on your ball set. It's going to be just resting. You're going to cup your hand like this. I hold my phone with my right hand. So you're going to want to cup your, your nuts with your left hand like this, I guess. Under scoop where the, the this is going to touch the gooch. You're just like this, I guess. Okay, you need to feel the power. You need to feel the power. You're going to call. You're going to take a deep breath. Check your wavelength because energy is like a wavelength okay you'll notice that if you're in a very frantic wavelength it's very high it's very heady it feels like you're being carried down an intense river a rapid river it's really like that until you stop you take a deep breath like this you're not going to be pulled out of it you're going to be living your whole life in this wavelength it's like a lazy river remember we used to have this adventure park adventure island it's called you go down the lazy river, it just slowly carries you down throughout the river, okay? I noticed this. You can be in that, or you can be in another one. There's a sort of neuroticism that occupies the minds of many men and women, and it's another river. So it's a, it's a neurotic, it's it's like, oh man, <coughs> I have a cough. <coughs> what does this cough mean? Does it mean I have coronavirus? Am I gonna die? Oh no, the, the bills. Oh no, the cat, the cat's choking. Oh, what does that mean? Oh. Oh, my, this and that happened in the world. It's like neuroticism kind of takes up your life. You're kind of always worrying. Take a step out. As a man, we're holding our nuts. Take a step out. Take a deep breath. That's all you got to do. Okay. Check the wavelength. Be calm. Be present. Okay. That's the best way to really be. You don't have to be this or that. Stop being directed by these different energies. There's a lot of these energies that make our the way into our heads and into our life. And we're getting, we're just going down these streams, these rivers that we don't want to be. Step out of the river, man. Take a look at the river. Do I want to be in this river? Yes? Jump back in. Take a step out. Do I want to be in this river? No? Jump out. Go to a different river. That simple. Check the wavelength. Okay? It's okay to be calm. So in this scenario, we are going to be calling this girl up 
Okay, for the first time, so we're a bit nervous. Obviously, it's a bit nerve wracking, but that's okay because we're going to take action. Because we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna make it happen. We don't care what the world says. So we're going in. Ring, ding, ding. Hey, it's Elijah. Oh, hey, Elijah. What's going on? Hey, we talked the other day. Uh, how's your week been? My week's been great. Okay, am I calling? Who who's calling me right now? Let me actually get into the damn scenario. Here it is. Here's the phone. I'm picking up the phone. I'm putting it to my head like this. I'm calling her. She answers the phone. Hello, this is Ashley. Hey, Ashley, this is Elijah. What's going on? Elijah, Elijah. Did we? Oh, you're the guy from the gym. Oh, yeah, yeah that's me. Hey, so uh, what's going on with you this weekend? What are you doing? You doing anything? No, my, I don't know. I just, my friend wanted to go out, but I'm not really feeling it. I kind of, I don't know. I'm, I have gas right now. I have some bad gas. Oh, okay. All right. Well, listen, if you, um, you know, I was thinking we should hang out. Let's hang out this weekend. What are you doing? Like, like you got free time around 7 p.m.? Oh, sure. Yeah. 7 p.m. should be good. All right. Great. I will see you then. Okay, great. Perfect. Put the phone down. <laughs> That's all you got to do, man. It's simple as ABC123. Your parents did it. Your dad did it to your mama. Literally, no text, nothing. Ching, boom, picked up the phone, right? Boom, just picked up the phone one day. Maybe met her out. Just boom, picking up the phone. Just did it, okay? That's as easy as that. So listen, how are we going to get there? Well, we're going to get there by doing what's called a cold approach because no one's approaching these girls these days, man. I'm telling you that. If you can do this, your league's ahead. There's all of these women out here. You know why I know this? I have a girlfriend and she goes to the gym. Okay, she sometimes goes times that I'm not there. And she'll come back home and say, this guy came up to me today. You know, we're cool. She can tell me that. I'm not like, oh, who was it? Who was it? How, how tall was he? Was he jacked? You know? Sometimes I'll ask, oh, was he Jack? You know, just kind of like, you know, was he Jack, babe? But no, sometimes, you know, she'll tell me. And um, then she'll be like, yeah. And I was like, did he close? Like, did he close the deal? You know, just, did he close the deal? Okay. Like, did he go for the number? Did he go for, did he give the invitation out? Because what is the point of approaching if you don't go for the close? Okay, you got to make the sale. Close the deal. Slay the dragon. So did he close? Okay. She said, no, it didn't even like, I'm like, that's interesting. What, like what's going on with these guys? What they a lot of these guys, no one's closing the deal. You got to get the number. Okay. So you go to the approach a girl, they talk to her a little bit, but it's just kind of like this, this, uh, where it's, there's no direction. It's not going anywhere. So I'm like, did they close? It's no, it's always like, Oh, how long have you been working out? You look like you work out. Oh, I need your workout routine. Oh, did you compete before? It's like all the same stuff the guy say to you, girl in the gym. That looks like she lifts. Where's the clothes? You know? No one, no one's doing it. Okay? Most girls are not. If most girls are only getting approached by drunks. When a guy's drunk, that's when we work up the courage to finally grab the nuts. We scoop the nuts. We go up to her, hey, what's going on? Okay? So, like, listen, man. We got to be doing this. I'm giving you a mission. You got to get a number this week. Okay, you have to do it. Okay. First off, when you tune your mind to something, you make up your mind that you need to do something, you're going to begin to see the opportunities that present themselves. The opportunities are going to seem like they present themselves more frequently. And that's all you have to do. And you're going to start by saying hi. You're going to start saying hi to multiple girls. How you doing? Hey, what's going on? Girl at the front is, hey, what's up, Sharon? Hey, what up, girl? Hey, what's going on? Good to see you. Side of the road, hobo. I don't care if it's a hobo. Girl, girl with needle on her arm on the side of the road. How you doing? How you doing, miss? So I'm just saying, get in the habit. We have to. It's becoming weird to talk to people. It's becoming weird to start talk to our fellow <clears throat> human beings. And we got to do it. So I don't know about you. And I don't care if you got a girlfriend. You still need to. You still need to get that feminine energy, okay? Talk to other girls. Let's talk to some girls. You guys that are single, get a girl's number this weekend. Stop being weird. Stop putting it off. Stop saying one day. No, now, today. Today, okay, today. 
is the day. We're going to start every single day. Have that in your mind. I'm going to, hopefully in a week, you guys are going, yep, got this number. Got that number. That's all I care about. I need the action. I need the results. Okay? So I don't care how you do it. Just, uh, you know, do it. Do it with, um, by just getting a number. All right? No fake numbers. Nothing. And that's that. If you guys have any questions, you, you're, you're thinking too much. You have too many questions, by the way, about this. You're thinking too much. Because it's literally that simple. You don't have to do anything else but say hi to a girl. You don't need to look for signs of attraction. You don't really look for this and that. Listen, if you can work up the courage, you can muster up the courage to even go approach a girl, then good on you, mate. And I guarantee you that most guys are like, well, what? we're going to get all these guys that are just weirdos. Approach them. No. Okay, no. Okay, if you can approach a girl, you're not even a weirdo. And you can try to close the deal, you're not a weirdo. Because that takes courage. Okay, and, and people that are very shy and uh, people that, it takes a certain type of man to do that. Okay, so I, I guarantee you most people aren't going to do that. So don't be limiting yourself. Uh, no, man, if you're going to do it, do it and come back to me. That's it. That's all it is. So let, these girls need to be approached because no one's doing it. And I'm telling you, you can get off Tinder. You can get off all these other ways. You want to meet girls in real life. Okay, and the reason I say that is because most girls that go on Tinder, well, for me at least, it's a red flag. Because why couldn't this girl get approached in real life and have a bunch of men come after? And I don't know. That's that's my thought. I know some people are busy, blah, blah, blah. My theory is that if a girl's not getting approached in real life, why is she going on Tinder? Why is she do it using the internet a virtual so people can shop for her, swipe, swipe, swipe. Oh, I'm going to swipe on this. Like she's going through hundreds of guys. I don't want her, bro. There's too many girls. I don't want that one. I want the one that I'm seeing in real life. See her little eyeballs move around her head. You know, see her by, see her right there. So she can't cat finger. You know, the duck face. I don't want that. I want the real life. And I'm going to go and I'm going to approach because I know that that works. I'm going to say hi. I'm going to introduce myself. I'm going to chat up a little bit. I'm going to talk like a normal. It's, everything's normal. Girls are awesome. They're just like us. Okay. We got to stop all this weirdness. Thinking it's difficult. You were grown men. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. All right. With that being said, thanks for showing up. God bless us this week. I hope you have a blessed week. Let's go in peace. Okay. Our actions, our decisions, they have, they have meaning. What we do from here matters. All right. So that's it, guys. I hope you have a blessed week, and I will see you very soon. I hope that you that you uh, hit me up with some good news. All right. Talk to you soon. Peace.